Humor is a tricky thing. One sense of humor may be different from another's. They may have difficulty explaining why a title's humor made them laugh. It's even harder when trying to find out why one joke didn't make them laugh. The latter is the case for Su Minazuki's romantic erotic comedy, Goldire Soda Nakihara. Basic plot is that Shoto Yamakawa is a teenage otaku boy who loves the world of 2D. He wishes the fictional character of the sweet and cute Sora Nagihara would be real. Lo and behold, she magically comes out of Shota's book. However, her personality is the complete opposite, being aggressive and crazy. The reason why she teleported to the real world was to ask why he enjoys spending his time reading and looking at his catgirl slash moi manga. Because I'm a scrawny loser, no chick would date me, Shota responds. I'm paraphrasing, of course, but you get the point. Sora misunderstands and thinks that he is trying to pursue his ideal girl. Oh, and she thinks he can somehow rule the world. She doesn't expand upon why she thinks it is, except that Shota apparently has a little sex drive. So throughout the manga, she attempts to gather girls to become his concubine while engaging in a few fight scenes. When I was finished reading the manga, I was left in a state of confusion. Sure, the art is very good and the panel flow is coherent, I quite like how the author indicates the passage of time from one scene to the next. I just couldn't find myself liking most of the comedic elements. That's not to say that I'm not a fan of comedy-based manga or anime. The previous manga I read was Volume 1 of One Punch Man, and I found myself smiling and laughing throughout the title. From what I got from both video and text reviews and recommendations, most people had no problems with Sora Nagihara. They enjoyed the comedy and rated it quite highly. Overall, Godere is a funny little series with many outrageous and over-the-top hilarious moments that I feel anyone wanting to read a good short manga series with etchy, facial ejaculation, over-the-top martial arts, bits of romance, and valuable lessons about con candy can enjoy. So why is it that I didn't laugh as much read this manga? Was it really just me? I had to find out myself. Thus, this is why I am tackling the subject of Nag Sora Nagihara's humor. Relying mostly on sexual humor, the manga manages to deliver a few forced chuckles, with only one or two legitimate laughs. The humor mostly comes from the antics of the title character attempting to kill Shota Yamakawa. This usually leads to him getting in trouble, even being arrested a few times. Other times, it creates conflicts with other female characters, such as Shota's bossy longtime friend and a martial arts student who has the most self-esteem. This creates problems since it eventually becomes predictable when Sora's antics come about. This, so this is also a problem in terms of how Shota's misfortune is handled in the manga. Usually, people are most likely to laugh at a character's misfortune if they have made a negative decision. However, if the character hasn't done anything negative but receives a misfortune anyway, then people will instead sympathize with them. This sympathy increases if the amount of misfortune experienced continues with no change, even more so if it isn't even the character's fault. What I just described in the latter portion of the explanation applies to Shorter's situation. There is only one time where I could see him deserving the negative consequence. As a result, I end up not laughing even when the panels and the character's reactions try their best to do so. I end up feeling sorry for the guy who just wanted to simply read his book in danger. In a way, Sora is like a psychotic sapient dog who goes around humping legs and causing mayhem while classmates act as though Shona is the one doing all the acts. It's similar to how some episodes of SpongeBob SquarePants either end up irritating the viewer or making them feel sick. See Squidward t torture porn to see what I mean. There's a few comedic action scenes that involve absurd martial arts moves referencing things Otaku will likely understand. This is part of the manga where I chuckle the most at both the lone-ass names for special moves and the scenes depicted. 
One scene I found the most clever in diverting expectations was when two men were fine naked. In an attempt to censor their buff bodies, Sora's powers were unable to cover up their armpit hair due to the not existing in the world of 2D. These parts managed to add a bit of variety to the humor and it helps to make the manga not feel as mundane. If only there were other attempts at adding certain kinds of humor, or at least diverting expectations. Like, maybe having it so that Shota thinks Sora is about to tie up a female student and yell about giving her a facial job or impregnating her, when Sora just wanted to give her an ice cream cone out of sheer kindness, proceeding him to face her. Without spoiling too much, it's hard for me to describe the humor in situations specifically. It's not like how trailers for comedy films may end up giving away all of the funny moments even if they simply deliver a few chuckles. So that when viewers do watch the film, the scenes that made them laugh or in the trailer weren't as funny as before. As stated previously, could be something that is subjective. While there are tips and guidelines on how to do humor involving a setup, the initial expectation of a reader slash viewer, the punchline, the timing, and other things, there may be a joke or a scene that may either be funny to one and not so funny to another. In English, it means, I don't know shit about comedy. I'm just basing my thoughts to be a somewhat known erotic manga.